It's 5 a.m. and the students at Yogini's are up bright and early to honor the changing of the seasons. Instructor Kimberly Clark sets out rose petals in maroon and gold for the summer solstice with a clever homage to ASU. Practice begins with turning off the lights and concentrating on breathing exercises. But there is something extra special about today's class. The purpose of today's practice is not only to honor the summer solstice, but it is also International Yoga Day. Every student that attended today's yoga practice for International Yoga Day is also an instructor, mentored by Clark. Christine Garcia says that International Yoga Day helps bring awareness to the western side of the world and shows what yoga is all about. It seems that it's kind of just new and it's uh, just getting out there, so it's a really exciting opportunity for yoga studios and yoga teachers at this time. Most of these women have practiced yoga for over 10 years, and this year's International Yoga Day is the first ever. Heather Page Farlow says that the connection with mind and body found in yoga is one that is irreplaceable. And I'd had um, a, a meditation practice for many years, and I, I just was amazed at how they yoked together. And you know, and then to find out that hatha means, you know, to yoga it means to yoke and, and to take the, the spiritual and the physical. So for me now, yoga is like a full body meditation. As practice comes to a close, it is a reminder that while yoga is an ancient practice, it still has a long way to go to become as popular in the U.S. For JMC 345, I'm Elaine Wilson.